Hi, this is Rob from Longevity Learning Lab. And uh, they indulge me here pretty good. And they let me come up with different projects here, but I have no budget. So uh, I've been working on this turntable and I've made a couple videos and I've got it here behind me. And I'll show you how, how it runs. Needs a little help still, but that's okay. Anyway, I used two machines of ours. I used our, our MIG Weld 140 little wire feed machine and I used the hard wire with gas, the 25% argon, 75% CO2. Then I used our Innovator, the 255i, and that's got the TIG welder and the plasma cutter on it. I didn't need the TIG welder, but I, I used our, the, its little plasma cutter. Worked like a champ, worked great for me. Same with the little wire feed, the 140. That worked great too. And like I said, I used the hard wire instead of the core wire. And it's just a little cleaner weld on cleanup and stuff like that. And um, worked fine. So uh, what I'm going to do is show you the turntable here and how it runs. And it runs a little too, too fast. But everything, I was under, like I said, no budget. So I got it under 50 bucks but I don't want to tell you how many hours I put into it just for revisions. I was saying on a couple of the other videos, you know, revision A, or it's a prototype first. Well, I ran out of letters in the alphabet. <laughs> so here it is. And uh, let me run it. And then after that, I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll zoom in and I'll show you what I actually did to it. So here it goes. It runs pretty good. Now, like I said, everything was free pretty much. I got a friend who owns a little market, so I got this big plastic base here that you can take and put it on the ground, so it's like at level, seat level. I got another friend who uh, he has mini bikes and go-kart business. He gave me a hub for a quad runner, and it's got a little braking system in there, and what I used was a turnbuckle and an anchor here, and you just turn it and slow it down. Now, one of the things I did buy was a control module here and it's the on off switch with a little knob, but it doesn't slow it down enough because of the gearing ratio and the motor that I got. Down the road, I can take care of that. Even if I put it on variable speed, still doesn't go too slow. Now I'll stop it. And we'll go like that, but then I'll put it down and it'll slow down, but then the motor just doesn't have enough oomph and the gearing's a little off. But, you know, you gotta play with it. And then you can turn this, if I do it too much, then it'll stop and it's not good, I could burn the motor up. But it works okay. And then the cover of the motor is longevity. We had a couple uh, old machines here. I just took a cover off of that and trimmed it and make it a little safer. And so let me, I'll zoom in and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, here's the animal, a little closer up. So I'll take the cover off. And our cover is right here like that. Here's my little motor. And the motor is only a half, half horse out power motor, half horse. And uh, then it's all, got the chain underneath here. And uh, here's my braking system. And all I did was use a little turnbuckle going to the, the arm of the hub from, uh, from the, the quad runner. And that, that was working okay. But it still comes down to the motor and uh, the, just the ratio of the gear. And that's what I got to work on. So uh, if you guys have any comments to help me, I'll, you know, let me know what goes on with that because I didn't want to spend too much more time on this thing. And uh, I got the slotted holes here like I showed in the other video. Here's my little tensioner bolt right there. And it's really straightforward. And uh, here I'll turn it back on. But see, it just runs a little too fast. And, well, really a lot too fast. Let me put it on the variable speed here. Okay, let's then turn it down. And it just, it just doesn't have enough of the power. See how it jumps around a little bit? And it'd be good if I want to do pottery, but it's not going to be good for, for welding. But that's okay. This was just on a lark anyway. And like I said, I don't have much of a budget. But see, this will turn it down a little bit. And it's all been clean, but it's just the motor's just not strong enough. But hey, for the price. You can see I had to, it's all nice and straight and linear. I had to make a little platform here out of the aluminum. But it runs. And uh, I'll work the other bugs out. But I think it looks pretty good anyway. And if anything, we use it as a pottery table. And it runs, so that's, if you have any suggestions, let me know. Now, and one thing I didn't show you 
was on the turntable here, my hold downs, and uh, I had made the slots so it's all nice and adjustable, and I got my hold downs, and then underneath here, I've got, it's a, it's a carriage bolt, so it'll slide, but it'll also lock in. And so I got all that, that play for all of them. And then I got my little hold downs here, if I need to, and those are adjustable also. And it's all nice and clean, and it's fairly flat here. I got carriage bolts here, and uh, it'll put the flange on there. And that's pretty much it. I like it though. I mean, it's, it's straight and uh, just too fast. That's my problem. And I'll take care of that down the road. Well, so there's that little project. And uh, not really done, but it's done. I like it. And uh, getting the ratio for the speed control, that's, that's easy enough. And, uh, you know, for having no budget, it, I think it turned out pretty good. And I'll still work on it on my own time. And uh, so, thanks for joining me. I'm Rob, and we'll see you next time on Longevity Learning Lab. I keep learning. Bye.